Hi guys, we're on the way to a potato farm. Yeah, we're going to see Farmer Luke. So he does a bit of all sorts, so potatoes, um, some sugar beet, some arable crops as well. And he's also really into his education. So I think this is going to be a great one. Yeah, I'm excited. I've never been to a potato farm. So here we go. Yeah, maybe I'll get some chips. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to sort of do. Hi, my name's Luke Ablett, and I farm down here at uh, Daintree Farm, which is a Cambridgeshire County Council uh, tenancy. Uh, the Cambridgeshire County Council actually have the largest tenant farm in the country, which I'm really proud to be on this state. Uh, my uncle was on this state, and my granddad was also on this state, so there's a large family history with the estate. My cousin actually still is on this state as well. We farm, the actual tenancy here at, on Daintree is 315 acres around that. And we've got some other bits and pieces, so we're about, up to about 350 now, roughly, without looking at my books precisely, around that kind of acreage. Um, down here we farm uh, wheat, we've also got barley, we've got sugar beet, I think I'm one of the last few growers around here, and also we grow potatoes as well, which is a novelty. In the way, it's not much in this area. Well, this area in particular is one of the most fertile places in the country. We're down here on the Fen, this has got proper black as we call Fenland soil because all this area around here you'll, you'll see is all used to be underwater millions of years ago and then of course it got drained in the mid 1700s leaving, leaving the real fertile soil that we enabled us to grow root crops down here such as potatoes there's a lot more carrots and stuff that are growing down here but I don't get involved in there no just potatoes are my game so it enables us to grow them in very fertile soil free draining. So when Lizzie and I drove here, we noticed how flat it was and the fact that there are all these drainage channels. Does the land ever flood now or are you just farming as a kind of normal, kind of, let's say, lowland farm? No, well, it, do, it has got a prone to, to flooding occasionally, but we have one of the best, we call the, the middle level district, maintains all the drains and networks of waterways. And I think they are one of the best in the country at doing that. I mean, I'm going to get probably a lot of hate that someone's feels <laughs> under underwater, but but generally it all drains away quite nicely, and they've got pumps that run day and night to make sure we're all well, not just us, but the surrounding towns and cities are all all not flooded. So this is your education box. This is my education box. So what's in it? Well, I'm very 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 proud of this box. You can tell my massive smile. <laughs> so we have in my box sunshine. To uh, my mum actually made that. <laughs> my my mum's actually a teacher, not that you see. I, I, I don't live with my parents, <laughs> so this is my sunshine to demonstrate the sun. Mm -hmm. I can explain that in a minute why I've got that. Also the rain as well, Aww. symbolising rain and water that the plants need. Uh, what else have we got? We've got my chips all ready for when we talk about potatoes because kids all know chips. Yeah. Crisps of course, and someone did point out that my potatoes do go for or they can go for other flavours, not just salt and vinegar because some child did think that the potatoes just made salt and vinegar wow, crisps. Yeah. Sugar, could we still grow sugar beet? Silver spoon, not tan lal. Amazing. My sugar beet plant, because sugar beet degrades pretty quickly in the sunshine. Some very nice teacher printed that out when I realized I didn't have any. <laughs> Two, got some bread. Mm -hmm. These are all been stuffed with a pillow, by the way, so they're all- I know, I think how do you keep them all fresh? Like, That's why. So I used to do some school talks, I used to stop at the shop to get bread and all the props I needed. Forget about them, left them in my truck. Oh no. Yeah. So I decided to, uh, no, we'll uh, make some proper box flour, because they go flour. Also, we've got some seed wheat to show the kids what the seed looks like. Oh, that's brilliant. We've also got, now these are another thing I'm proud of as well. I managed to last year remember to keep some grains. Oh, that's fab. And these are actually been sprayed with hairspray, so they shouldn't when I shake them. Clever. All fall out. That's why they've got a little bit of a, I don't know if you can smell that. That's got a bit of a... Yeah, I can. Bit of a, bit of a fruity fragrance. smell. Fragrance. We've also got the grains. Yeah. And another top idea that I come up with, I also take with me... Oh my gosh. Scale model tractors. Yes. <laughs> so the children can then relate to what we do in the field to show how they do it. So this is a sugar beet drill. Wow. Of course, it's a tractor. We also have a combine. Let's show the combine. I've got the header in there somewhere else, there is. Ta -da. And also, which the kids don't really, we've got a plow, 
you know, that's getting phased out. I think it's the kids still need to. Yeah. It's a bit hard to explain carbon use to children and of how course. we're doing minting. So we still do the plow because they're in most of the books they read and stuff. So I still use that. Amazing. And I also got a sugar beet harvester. Wow. See, so, I mean, some of these I would like like to be taught about because, well, I don't know everything the ins and outs of them. I know what a John Deere tractor looks like, and that's all because of Becca. Um, but I also think a lot of these kind of items um, children can relate to because they see them day in and day out. Yeah, bingo. Bingo. So they can see as soon as you hold the product out, they can realise so when they first see, take sugar beet for instance. This is the one that I normally, where's the sugar beet? I normally show a picture of a sugar beet yeah. and say, do you eat this? And then they all let you go, no, we don't eat turnips. Someone called it a carrot once. It looks like a turnip. This goes into sugar. silver spoon. So normally who eats this? Put your hands up, no one. Yeah. Who eats this? And Everyone kind of puts their hands up. Even yeah. Stanley still doesn't. I say, right, keep your hands. So if you eat this, you eat this. And they're like, no, we don't, you're, you're, you're mental. And I say, well, this is a uh, crop of sugar beet. And then all of a sudden it clicks. Ah, wait a minute, I thought sugar was imported. No, we're actually growing in the UK. And then I go to explain Amazing. how sugar beet's grown. And normally I say about how the wheat drill, this is what we drill wheat with, loads of coulters. Whereas the sugar beet drill, we drill in rows. There's only six rows. And why is that? Ah, you see, this is where my son and rain comes involved. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to Oh, you yeah. see, this is, you see, it all works in the gear. It's like I've thought about this. Mm. They just come to me once in the talk. <laughs> so you get all the kids to uh, pretend they're a sugar beet and their arms are the leaves. Yeah. They all sit down in a nice circle and I go around to shine the sunshine and they all reach their arms up to try and catch the sun rays. Mm -hmm. And I say, right, can anyone take a step back now away? So they raise their arm again, come around again. Now, was it easier to catch the sun rays apart or the person next to you? They normally say apart, and that's why sugar beets grow in rows, to give it more space for it to grow to catch the sunlight with the leaves. In a, very, in a very basic scientific, yeah, yeah. I'm sure people know a lot more than sugar beet growing than I, the, te no, the technicality, but the, the kids were, so they'd realize there's different machinery to different crops. And then I explained why, just like the soil conditions down here set themselves up for sugar more than yeah. you know, anywhere else in the country. And I guess it's not just children, it's people like me, you know, who are interested in it, but actually need to learn it from a basic level. Because if you've not grown up in farming, you wouldn't know. No, it. you don't know, you don't know. And the teachers as well think that there was rocks in the side of the field at some point. They thought the, the farmers were collecting the rocks out of the field and put, and put them in the corner of the field, not there was a sugar beet clam waiting to go to the factory. Right. Yes, it's amazing like how the, the kids have lost the connection yeah. with their food. To what we produce on a farm mm -hmm. so that's why i enjoy going back and doing it Fantastic. and the, the kids love it like they when they're finished learning they they, they do remember stuff as well so Amazing. i must be good <laughs> well you should be very proud <laughs> i am very i'm very proud i'm very proud my pro i'm very proud of this as well this took a whole night to because not only did we have to suffer with a pillow they've also got cardboard cut into it well so they don't get crushed over the journey oh. to and from the to and from the schools it should be on art attack is that a bit old now? Oh. Oh, we'll go, yeah, I think that is, yeah. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? That's a long time ago. Heart attack. But yeah. I do remember Art Attack. Yeah, it used to be straight after school, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, it did, yeah. yes. It yeah, it yeah. used to go outside and do like... Oh, yes, that's what I was just thinking. I was trying to, yeah, and that, that talking head. Yes. Yes, I do yeah, remember that now. That I'm not surprised. <laughs> we used to give, yeah, I think it used to give me a bit of the, <laughs> bit of the chills there. We used yeah. to make like, that big art. Then he used to like put towels out and stuff. And, yeah, can yeah. you guess what it is yet? Yeah, we used to do it with like... What well, props. props you can do? We'll try and make a. Can make like a, um, a sugar beet, like um, like mural on the floor. I don't know. What oh, like a. Well, I'll try and make a massive sugar beet on the floor. Yeah, yeah we could do that. Maybe yeah, sugar. Yeah, we could do. You got. Yeah, we have to go and get some. We need to get what's, what's called Neil. Is he called Neil, Neil? Yeah, he was when he Neil. Neil. But is he still around? Neil Buchanan. Uh, Neil Buchanan. That's it. That's, that's it. I remember that bit weird. <laughs> no, I think he's got to be still around. Surely. Yeah. We would have saw something on the news. He must have been about our age back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, he would have done, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's scary, isn't it? He looks so much older now. I know. That was fun. Well, should we have a trip around the farm and yes. do some action? Yes, I'm very proud. Amazing. Let's go. I'm very pleased with my farm. It's cool. tidy for once.